Okay, in this video I'm just going to give you an idea of the amount of failures I've had in making these uh, paleo type points. Uh, so far I've made all of these with uh, copper uh, indirect percussion. Uh, the initial stages or the preform stages like this, like the primary bifaces down to the preforms. A lot of times I use hammerstone, especially for this primary biface, I use hammerstone. Once it gets down to this, I can only get it about this thin with a hammerstone. It's about my limit with a hammerstone or with a antler billet. And I'll go to indirect percussion. Now at this stage, for me, is not too difficult. I can do this. I can do this all day. But when I start getting down into the, uh, the uh, preform stages, as you can see, that there's a lot of failures involved in the uh, paleo style points. And it's not just uh, bass failures when I'm trying to flute. Like this one here broke uh, trying to flute it. There are other failures too where I, you know, work the bass and the tip breaks off. Uh, sometimes I'm trying to thin the blade and the, it snaps in the middle, like this one here too. And they're getting pretty thin at this stage. And a lot of these I, I didn't try to flute them. Uh, this one I did and it broke the tip off. They even, they even break at this stage here. Now that's pretty thick. But uh, with a hammerstone, it's not difficult to break these, at, even at this stage and this thickness. This is fairly thick as well. The, uh, the most difficult part for me, of course, is the uh, long flakes. Now, if you're not very aggressive with the uh, flint napping, you get this kind of situation where you get these islands in the middle. If it starts getting too thin, you want to take off long flakes, you're going to get steps. So they need to start off fairly thick. Um, not start off, but the preforms need to be fairly thick. So when you do the final thinning, you can be aggressive and uh, end up with bold flake scars like this one. This was my best uh, preform so far. You can see some overshot flakes here on the back as well. I think there's a one that started here and went across, took some of this edge off. I did some basal thinning. And uh, this is more in line with this size of final uh, point. Uh, I would call this a plain view and not a Clovis. But it is a paleo style point. Going from this preform uh, to a fluted stage and then to this stage is the hardest part for me. I think that's true for all, all flint nappers that uh, are into this, uh, this style of flint napping where uh, you're concentrating on overshot flaking, fluting, and the general shape at the same time as you're working it. Now, there's not very much retouch on the edges of these if you look at the real artifacts unless the tool has been used quite a bit the uh, the preforms don't have very much retouching on the edges at all so it's shaped thinned fluted 
all with large flakes in most cases and that's the hard part but I'll be doing some videos in the future showing the process once I get a little bit better at it and uh, it won't be long I'll give it a try here that's it